Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another video. And today I'm going to show you how to officially record videos on your Steam Deck OLED now. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. All right, guys. So Valve just released a new update for your Steam Deck, which allows you to do video recording now. So essentially before you could only just take pictures and in the beta, you could also, you know, record your videos and stuff, but now it's been released to the wider public. And I can't wait, because this is gonna change my content in the future now, actually. So instead of just doing on-camera stuff, I can also show you some native gameplay as well. So that's gonna be really, really cool. So to begin with, what we're gonna do is go to system, and we're gonna go to the uh, software updates as well. Now, obviously, my one is up to date, but for you, it should say that it needs to do an update. So just make sure you update your Steam Deck. And then what we're gonna do, well, you're just gonna go through the update itself and then reset your Steam Deck. And then you should have this option in the settings, which is game recording. All right, and you have these three different options. You can have recording off, you can have recording in the background. So essentially it's always gonna be recording what you're, um, what you're playing. And then you also have record manually. Now I've got recording manually on just because I don't really wanna take up my storage, but um, I have full control over when I can record, which is actually pretty cool. And when you do select record manual, um, you're gonna have these little shortcuts here as well. So control shortcut to start stop recording, which is the Steam Deck button and A button. Control shortcut to add a timeline marker. So yeah, you can put um, the Steam Deck button and Y. Um, we've also got the recording quality. So I put on ultra, which apparently it's 4K. Uh, I'm not too sure or if it's just gonna give you like the best performance. So yeah, I've just maxed it out to ultra so I can get the best video recordings. Uh, maximum frame rate recording, which is 60 frames. Uh, maximum video height. I mean, you can do no limit. Uh, I've left it as no limit anyways. Uh, record microphone, which is actually pretty cool. So if you wanna do some like commentaries, uh, and then you have a uh, record microphone. And you can also choose where it's actually been recorded from. It's actually pretty cool. So I can actually, you know, connect my mic to my Steam Deck. So let's try this out in action because that's what I'm, I'm sure that's what you guys are here for, really. So let's boot up God of War Ragnarok. All right. So now that we have God of War Ragnarok booted up, let's get straight into gameplay. All right. I'm in the middle of a boss battle at the moment. Um, oh, gosh. There we go. Damn. All right. Let's press pause. Wow, she killed me instantly. Okay, so let's just press pause for a second. So to actually start recording, you just have to hold down the Steam Deck, uh, Steam Deck button, or sorry, the Steam button, and then press the A. So if I do that, you can get a little notification saying that it's recording started. And now we can exit and we can continue. And yeah, we can kick some ass. So we press pause again now, and if we hit the Steam button and A, it will stop recording, and it says recording finished. So let's just exit from this game now. All right, and if we go to media, you will have our 49 second recording, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool. I've got some other recordings as well. I've got like a one minute one as well, and 56 minute ones. If you've seen my threads, you probably have seen my uh, video clips. But now we have a 49 second clip, so let's watch that over, or watch some of it over. There we go, look at that. Super crisp quality, looks really, really good. That's actually pretty, pretty cool. Now, of course, you can, you know, move it forward and backwards and so forth. You should be able to also crop it as well. So if you press the, uh, the cut button, we should be able to kind of crop what we want. Yeah, so you can actually skip to different moments of the of the video clip as well. I haven't actually played too much with the editing tool yet. Um, 
But yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's not too bad. I need to play around with this part here, but yeah, you can actually edit your clips on here, um, and make it longer or shorter or anything. And then once you're done, you can press the download button and you can download it directly to your Steam Deck. And then once that's actually done, you can actually, you know, press the start button, go to share, and you can share it to other devices, send to your phone or create a QR link. Or you can send it to your friends on Steam. So yeah, guys, um, I just wanted to make a quick short video on how to do so. Um, I think it's going to be a very, very useful feature for many, many people and specifically for myself. So I can actually start uploading some some uh, some proper actual footage of gameplay for the Steam Deck on my uh, my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was very, very useful for you guys. And um, yeah, my, my next video will be the PlayStation 5 Pro unboxing and I'll do some gameplay for you guys and show you how good that game, um, how, how, con how good the console is and kind of give you my thoughts and stuff, you know, so keep a lookout for that. And um, without further ado, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take it easy and peace.